Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of The Kim Jacobs Show. Be sure to subscribe to The Kim Jacobs Show right on YouTube. Turn on your notification bell to all so you never miss a beat. And guess what? Every time you watch, you're going to receive a real relevant and relatable guest that's going to share with you a piece of the puzzle on this journey called life that will help you be able to manage just a little bit smoother. At the end of the day, the Kim Jacobs show goal is to be able to provide balance to the world one household at a time. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of The Kim Jacobs Show. How are you, our Freestyle Friday experts? And an extra guest over here, Jay Nolan, is in the house. How are you all today? Hi. Hey. Awesome. Hey. Awesome. Hey. All right. So glad to have you all. And you know what? I know that you all come on many times, but I don't necessarily know where everyone's located. So please, as everyone's coming into the virtual seats, as you're walking into the Kim Jacobs Show studio, make sure you grab your virtual seats and then also make sure you share this broadcast. So time you get in your seat, share the broadcast with your friends, your family, your coworkers. We're going to be talking about quite a few topics today. And we want your input. It's Freestyle Friday, y'all. So in order for it to be a great topic and discussion, we need you to chime in. So get your minds right and your thoughts ready so we can pull you in even if... Let me actually do that. Let me put this link here. (laughs) My son was so funny before we even get deep into discussion. He was like, Mom, okay, you pulled some people in. And I don't know that the people really thought they were coming on the show. So when you use this link, If you click on it, it's going to pull you into the broadcast and you're going to be on the Kim Jacobs show. So get your thoughts right. Get your questions or your comments. But when you get on here, don't be like, where am I? I'm on the show. I clicked the button, but I don't know what happened to me. So make sure you know you're going to be on the show when you pop on that link. All right. We look forward to having you. So Camille, where are you located? I'm located in Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. See, I, you know, for some reason I thought Greensboro, so I'm glad I asked that. Raleigh, <laughs> how about you, Dr. Joe D? I am in Howie in the Hills, just northwest of Orlando. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. And how about you, our sunshine expert, Athena? I already know where Yay. you are. I'm shining right here in the Queen City of Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes, actually, Athena took me out to a great early dinner on my birthday, and we had so much fun. So I really enjoyed our fellowship We just really enjoy it. How about you, Jay Nolan? Where are you located? I'm all the way in Boca Raton, Florida. Just oh. in Fort Lauderdale, south of West Palm Beach. South Florida is here bringing the sunshine to this beautiful Kim oh, Jacobs oh show today. God. Glad to be here. Well, I'm so glad to have you here. Oh, so somebody already came in. You have a question already, Alabu Lucilla? Alabu Lucilla, you have a question? Put, put a thumbs up if you want me to go ahead and pull you in. Oh, hold on. I'll pull you in. Go ahead. What's your question, Avalusa? You have a question? Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Do you want to ask something right quick in the studio audience? No. I think people want to come and just stay backstage. You can hang out with us and I see you and we're glad to have you wherever you're from back there. All right. So listen, everybody, we see all of your comments coming in and we're going to have a wonderful Freestyle Friday. You say hello, one of the Facebook users. We see Freestyle Friday being hashtag. Hi from Finland. Amina says, hi, uh, what's your WhatsApp uh, number? Pos says, Pos. Samosas says, hey, what's your what's up number? Okay, you can inbox me and I'll definitely give you that information. All right, let's see. All be the difference. Hi, all at Kim Jacobs, Scott, everybody. Okay, I had a, a lot of comments coming in. So I see all of your comments. I'll just go ahead and pop some of them up. Let's see. Scott Harris. Manuel, do you have a question backstage? Give me a thumbs up if you want to come on, because I'm not going to just pull you all on. All right. Hello, Dennis. Hello. 
I see you to my mom. My mom said, good morning. I'm watching the Kim Jacobs show on Freestyle Friday and looking forward to a great information. Hello, everyone, as Shuana says, and somebody from Lafayette is on as well. Conrad from Cincinnati, Ohio, somebody from Birmingham, UK, Chicago, Atlanta, all of you all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. So I see people popping in the backstage too. So only if you give me a thumbs up, am I going to pull you on the screen? Hello from India. All right. So as we get started today, we're going to kick this episode off with our Freestyle Friday expert, Camille Richardson. Camille, Woo! I'm glad to have you here today. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Camille, before you just start, tell them a little bit about your story because you mm -hmm. live with a condition that has left you a certain kind of way, but you are our vision expert. Just keep that in mind. Camille. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, like she said, I'm, I'm Camille Richardson from the great city of Raleigh, North Carolina. Yay. Hey. And I was born to totally blind. But, you know, of course, that doesn't stop me from living my best life. I'm a business owner. Um, I am a published author. I am a life liver, a mover and a shaker and a fabulous individual, if I may say so myself. <laughs> you are, I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. Why, thank you, thank you. What do you have for us today, Camille? Um, so this morning, as your vision expert, I just want to let you know, because again, this I'll, I give you nuggets that apply to my life as well, but you are not a monolith. Now you're probably like, what in the world are you on here talking about? Some monolith on a Friday morning? What do you mean? <laughs> so what I mean is you are not just one thing. You don't have to be just one thing. As a vision expert, I will tell you that throughout life, your vision will change. Now, you might not you know, go into your career thinking that your vision will change, but eventually it will. And that is OK. Um, everybody always knew you to be the lawyer or the doctor or the banker or the whatever. But deep down inside, you might have had a dream of being a world renowned chef because you absolutely love to cook and share your recipes with other people and you want to be an influencer. And guess what? If you decide that after 20 years of working in that career as a doctor, a lawyer, a banker, or whatever it is you're going to be, or you're, you're, you are at that time, you want to pursue your dream as that Instagram influencer, as that world renowned chef or that author or whatever, it is okay to pivot. You can change. You have the right to do that. We only get one life right? And this one life is meant to be lived to the fullest. Like whenever you leave here, you want to know that in every, you want everybody else to know that you lived your full life unapologetically. You live your dreams, whatever they may be. And they are allowed to shift and change as you shift and change. And don't let anybody paint you into that one box of what they feel that you're supposed to be. Because again, you know you. And you might not have wanted to be that lawyer. You just did it because you figured it was something easy to do. I'm going to law school. My parents wanted me to do that. But now I'm 40 years old and I realize I'm a whole grown person. So I can do something different if I'd like. That's <laughs> and good. Don't be, and don't be afraid because you're stepping out on faith to live your true dream and be your true self. I always say live authentically, live unapologetic, unapologetically, allow that vision to change and allow yourself to have multiple streams of income if you want that. That's good. I, I love that. Keep you got more. You want to tell us some more? Um, I like I said, I say that from my life. I've done some of everything, y'all. Everybody always asks me, what do I do? And I'm like, what haven't I done? That's the question. Um <laughs> <laughs> I started off doing radio a long time ago with a former life but i started doing radio and everybody just knew that that's who i was and i knew that that's who i was and that's what i wanted to be didn't quite work out that way though i up and became a massage therapist and sometimes you do things because it's a means to an end and sometimes you feel like well i gotta do this because um you know i need to I, i'm trying to figure out my way around so that i can um begin to use my voice again in a different way. So that's what happened with me. And then as I did that, I realized when the pandemic hit, I don't want to do massage therapy anymore. And so I became a business owner and decided to work in my community, in the blind community and become a motivational speaker and, you know, just educate and become an educator, a consultant. And then I became an author. So again, I, I say this because my life has taken so many different paths and it will probably take more. And I had to realize that it is okay. 
It is okay. Mm -hmm. And listen, everybody in the virtual studio audience, if your life has taken some different turns and you've had to pivot, share your story of, of pivoting and making some immediate abrupt changes that you never expected to happen in your life, but now it's working out for your good. And let me also put this book up that Camille is one of the collaborating authors in. Tell them about the book, Camille. Absolutely. So the book is entitled The Right to Heal is not about the sight loss, but vision gain. And there are 10 of us beautiful, bold, blind sisters in this book who are sharing our stories of sight loss and the vision that we gained throughout our journey. And there's so many different stories for everybody, different flavors. And trust mm -hmm. me, it's not just about physical blindness because we've all lost our way and lost sight of our goals and our dreams, but it's, not, it's about how you find them and find your purpose again. So I really urge you to go out and purchase this book. Mm -hmm. It is a life changer. It will, it's good to your soul. And trust me, you're going to be uplifted when you read this book. Because yes, we went through our trials and tribulations, but guess what? We are back on top. We are confident and we're living our best lives. So definitely uh, go out and grab your copy. I love it. They're actually going to be doing a national book tour as well. So as mm -hmm. they go to a city near you, I will make sure that on the Kim Jacobs show, we notify you all. And the first stop, I think, is Washington, D.C. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. The first stop is on September 20, the 24th. Our book signing journey will be at Bus Boys and Poets in Washington, D.C. I am super duper excited. So I will definitely send put out the information. I thought I sent it to you, but it's all good. I'm going to send it again. So Please anyway. send it again because we, yes, uh, we definitely need that. But it's called Bus. Mackenzie's typing it backstage. Is Bus. Boys, Boys and Poets. And Poets. Yes, And it's on Eventbrite, isn't it? It sure is. You did send that to me, I remember. Okay. But if you could put that when you all came on the show as... Now, you can't imagine how inspiring it is to have blind individuals. They call themselves out of sight. <laughs> out of yes, sight. Yes, out of sight awesome. <laughs> out of sight awesome individuals that came on the Kim Jacobs show. If you missed that episode, make sure you check it out. And they talk about their tour as well, but it starts on September 24th. We have some information here for you. Bus Boys and Poets, P-O-E-T-S, right? Right. Okay. Bus Boys and Poets. Poets. Mm -hmm. Am I saying that right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, and it's on the worldwide tour begins on September 24th, Bus Boys and Poets. I know what you're saying. I'll be back to remind you. Don't you worry. <laughs> yes. It's on Eventbrite. Yes, ma'am. On Eventbrite. The right, yeah. the right to heal tour. Okay, I want to make sure. And I will find the link that. again um, whenever I am. Yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll send it to you. And um, I think, like I said, we sent it to you, but I'll send it again. Please do. Please do. But right now we do have it where you can definitely search it on Eventbrite. And it's the right to heal tour. And it begins September 24th. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's see anybody in the virtual studio audience that had a comment about something that you've had to do to pivot. Do you see any of those comments, Mackenzie? If so, pop them up right quick. Wow. Out of sight, Andy says. Wow. That's great. Bus Boys and Poet is a great restaurant. Oh, it's a restaurant where you yes, have. Okay. Yes. In D.C., it's a restaurant called Bus Boys and Poets. OK, yes. That part, relatable, real, and authentic, Rashawn says. Yes. Any other comments for Camille? I am uplifted just by witnessing you today, Camille. Oh, thank you. Thank Walking you. and purpose hits differently. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. says. Great message. Love it. The world needs role models. The better life. Hashtag the better life, someone said. Okay. Not sight loss is vision gained. Praise God for mm -hmm. your comment, Rashawn. Any others? It is okay just to do it and smile along the way from our sunshine expert. Athena said that comment. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Any others? Okay. Anybody on the panel want to chime into anything that Camille said? <laughs> it's all in her <laughs> God lane. Go ahead. Go ahead, sunshine expert, Athena. <laughs> Good morning to everybody. I just wanted to chime in and um, thank Camille for sharing that this morning. That was very encouraging words because as we do grow, we do change. And so I've always said I wanted to be a foot doctor, a podiatrist. So it's never too late. Um, I like feet beyond a fetish. I like the structure of feet. 
um, and want to <laughs> be able to help I learned something new about you, Sunshine. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm teaching y'all now um, in the healing and the structure of a foot and what help people um, to have safe feet, to always, to walk in their healing um, when they're going through any kind of foot pain. And so, y'all have always said that. And lately, it's been on my heart for like the last couple months. So, yeah, Camille, you know, it ain't never too late. Go back and go ahead and be Dr. Robertson and a foot doctor. Yeah. All right. All Girl, right. I'm all about it. <laughs> Athena, you are on to something, my dear, because anytime I, it hits me energetically, Athena, my nose was itching. And Camille, I couldn't stop with my nose itching while you were talking. It, mm -hmm. You are the epitome, real, relevant, and relatable, my dear. And just say, you know, like, uh, what obstacle? I don't No obstacle here. Look at you. Thank you so much for your inspiration. Wow. Okay. Well, these are great comments. I'm lo I'm loving um, Camille's her viewpoint. You know, Kim Camille has taken something and and she's really made people see what many could consider a disadvantage being blind, but she's helping so many people to see because her words. As you listen to the words, I was listening carefully, and it helped to feed my vision. It helped to encourage me. And I think that everyone that heard her words yes. are uplifted. So Camille, thank you so much for those powerful words. You are inspiring more vision. Way to go, sis. Thank you so much. I do appreciate y'all, really. And thank oh, you for allowing me so, to come speak. We're so glad <laughs> to have you on our panel today, Camille. And again, we have Freestyle Friday experts. You never know which ones are going to pop in on any given Friday. But we're so happy with the ones that are here today. All right, Athena, our sunshine expert, right after this commercial break. And I know your mic is working today. So we're going to get you in here for sure and get your comments going. Listen, everybody, we'll be right back after our commercial break. We'll be right back. I'm attorney Kenneth D. Snow, and at the Snow Legal Group, justice is our job. For more than 20 years, attorney Snow has been fighting for justice and winning cases in the Carolinas by providing aggressive representation in criminal defense, domestic violence, family law, serious injury, and wrongful death. If you've been injured or lost a loved one in an accident, including tractor trailer or ride chair, you need the Snow Legal Group by your side. Fighting for justice and fighting for you. Visit SnowLegal.com. Call 704-358-0026 for a free virtual consultation. Located at 68. 27 Fairview Road, Suite D in South Park. All right, everyone. And we are talking with our Freestyle Friday experts today, which they drop all kinds of tips and nuggets that are sure to change and better your life. So right now we're getting ready to hear from Athena Robertson, who is our sunshine expert. Athena, tell us what you have for us today. Hey, first, I just want to say thank you, Kim. Always an honor to God uh, to be able to share the platform with all these beautiful people today. It's a pleasure to meet Mr. Nolan on a Freestyle Friday. We are glad to have you. I want to share, don't limit yourself in your growing season. And so Camille started off and she started, she started the whole conversation. So she didn't know she had the fireball rolling. So we're just going <laughs> to keep it on flowing through the whole segment. Um, don't limit yourself in your growing season in any area of your growth, any area of your, of your growth, of your vision, your dream and your journey. Don't limit yourself. Um, you know, like a plant, how we can use the, the example of a plant. You have the seed, you have to water it, you have to nourish it, you have to give it proper sunlight for it to grow. That's how your vision, your journey, and your dream is. And um, I say that because I had a plant. I killed my first plant on accident. It wasn't intentionally. I'm a beginner green thumb. So <laughs> bear with me. Um, I gave it just a little bit too much water and just a little <laughs> bit outside time. But the second plant, I got it right. <laughs> And it is it's growing so beautifully now, but I would sit there and I would look at the plant and I'd be like, okay, Lord, it ain't <laughs> growing yet. I don't see a stem yet. Um, but over time with the proper sunlight and the proper nutrients, um, my plant started to grow and I was happy. And so that's what we are in our lives, in our journeys, in our dreams and living on purpose. When we're purpose driven, give it time to grow. So don't give up in the process. Don't give up because you might look at others and their growth is, is brought in higher than your growth because everybody's growth is different. And so you don't never want to 
limit yourself in your growth and say, well, I didn't see this result that I wanted. So I'm just going to, I'm going to forget about it and move to something else. No, finish what you started. And always y'all know from the sunshine expert, as well as I'm speaking to y'all, I'm speaking to myself, always finish. Um, like Camille said, we do things in life that we never thought we would do. And we just keep going. Ask me what I haven't done. So I grew up wanting to be a talk show host, did not know that God was going to bless me to be on a platform with a bunch of beautiful speakers, not only to gain experience, but also just be free and willing to be me and to be the inspirational speaker that I am, the motivator that I am. Um, constantly when I'm on here, I talk about um, celebrating you. I've been talking about celebrating mm. you since the start of 2022. Yeah, we celebrate you in every process of your life because every small adjustment leads to a big victory. So last week, <clears throat> I, I was gonna bring this word and did not was not able to speak on the platform, but it is okay because I was blessed in the presence of other uh, beautiful speakers that um, brought valuable mm-hmm. information that I was able to gain from. So today, I just wanted to share: um, don't limit yourself as you grow in your in your season continue to keep going. And if you can add, if you can add meaning, if you have an, another talent that can add on the journey, please use all your resources, all your resources that you learn from family and friends that you get offline. Um, and we are surrounded by a bunch of mentors in this world. Like this platform right here, I'm surrounded by a bunch of mentors, a beautiful people that's been in the game for a long time that I have had the pleasure with the with the help of my sister Kim Jacobs to grow along my journey. And remember, always ask questions. Close mouths don't get fed. I got a <laughs> one of one of my mentors told me that she was like, "So I'm asking you, what do you need?" I was like, "Well, sis, I don't know. I, I think I got it." She leaned, she leaned in again. She said, "Nope." She said, "I'm asking you, Athena, what it is you need while you're growing on this journey." Okay, I need this, this, and this. Please, I'm going to be obedient. I'm going to comply. This is what I need. And she was able to provide me with the things while I'm in the process of building my nonprofit organization. She was able to give me some valuable advice that's going to help me as I continue to build on my journey. And again, this is just growth, growth in my journey to speak up. To speak up, because again, if you don't say nothing, nobody's going to know. And everybody has something they can sow into you. Everybody has some valuable. It's your choice if you're going to embrace it. As I say, if I'm going to soak it up, use it and keep it moving. So I will not stop my growth. I'm going to continue to grow. Um, I am so blessed to have people around me that are growing, that I have a chance to um, be a witness of that. When well, you can be a witness of that, and that builds your character and help you to be a better person that you're becoming. Um, I have so many dreams in my head. Like I said, I wanted. I'm gonna be a foot doctor, doctor podiatrist. It's coming. I'm telling you, it's coming. When you dream it, and when you know it, and when it's on your heart, and God is giving you everything that you need along the journey, you can possibly, you know, it's going to happen for sure. I'm just a firm believer. I'm a, I'm a good, I'm a prayer. I'm a worshiper. And I know what God says it will come to. So I am just truly excited. Don't limit yourself on your growing, keep growing every process. It takes time, trust the process, trust the end results and continue to stay prayed up. So you don't lose focus and you don't get distracted. That's live coming from the sunshine expert in the Queen's <laughs> of North Carolina. You you endorse this. You endorse this public service announcement, right? That is awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for that great, insightful, just <laughs> viewpoint. I, I really appreciate when you come on because it gives us a chance to just look at things from a brighter perspective. So thank you for sharing, Athena. And I see comments that's been coming in. Please pop some of those comments up, Mackenzie. For our sunshine expert, I see, I could not see Athena's information because of the caption. Can you please put it in the chat? Yes, yes, we will make sure that we put Athena's information right in the chat. And we're going to put it here again, too. Let me put it up one more time. Can you all see it there? Yes. Athena Robertson, let them know how they can stay connected with you. 
Yeah, you can stay connected with me, Athena Robertson, on Facebook. And you can also stay connected with me, Red Honey, on IG. That is R-E-D-H-O-N-I-I, the number seven, on IG. And I'm also, I am an owner um, of Notary Express Notary Public. You can reach me. I'm a mobile notary um, here in the Mecklenburg County. So wherever you want to meet up, we can meet up in the middle. I could come to you. You could come to me. We can make business happen. That's in Charlotte, North Carolina, y'all, just so you know. Because some of these people from the UK and Ireland in Finland, oh, they're like, that's what? Right. That's know, where are they in Burke County? They're like, where that at? They're like this. Where, where I got to go to get to that? All right. <laughs> All right. So that's Athena's information. Put the comment up by Dr. Hillary Gooden again. I saw her on as well. She's also a talk show host. Hillary Gooden is one on with Dr. Lotus Roche Ignites and News You Can Use program. So make sure that this is so good. She said, learn to ask and accept help. So if any of you all as my Freestyle Friday experts would like to go on other talk show platforms, please let me know and I'll personally connect you because I'm connected with a whole lot of talk shows that have global platforms as well. Okay, go ahead. Glad to see you, Dr. Gooden. Uh, Maude says, wow, this is fantastic, sunshine expert. Okay, yes, Athena, you are so empowering, sis. We love you. Love you so much, Lashana said. Yes. And Lashana, <laughs> thank you. That was such a positive comment that you put when we first, before we even hit live, we saw your comment. So thank you for inspiring us and giving us words of encouragement before we hit the live button today. Andy says, oh, I see it. Thank you so much, Mr. Les. <laughs> Mr. Aww. Les, he's taking Les Brown because Les Brown has allowed us to go live daily on Les Brown's Facebook page here where you all, some of many of you, are watching today's broadcast. So thank you, Dr. Les Brown, as well. Uh, marry the process and divorce the outcome. Yes, great comment, Rashawn. Dreams are planted and not buried, Andy. Yes. Says. Very good comments here. Keep planting them seeds. All right. All right, Rashad. Any other comments? Murder the plant. <laughs> Lordy, help. Her. Okay. Somebody said, oh, you murdered the plants is what you said. Lord, help you. Okay. I was like, wait, what? I'm like, Mackenzie, read the comment. I don't want that. Up here. I, didn't, I didn't get what was happening. Y'all, it's all in the bloom in this season. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Anything else? All right. All right, so we're going to, I love feet too. Okay, okay. Always wanted to do feet for the homeless. That's Amen. All right. That's a good minute. Actually, Athena, tell them how we met right quick in two seconds or less type of thing, a minute or less. How so, me, so me and Kim, we met at the Ronald McDonald house. Um, as many of you know, Gabriel, her son that has transitioned on to heaven, um, to go, God be the glory. I go and I have been volunteering now there for three years. And just in passing, we have met and started a conversation. And from there, this beautiful friendship has blossomed. So oh. the seed was planted and we met there. And then we met again at a book conference. I did a book conference with my good friend, Carrie Ann Hillard. And Kim was the guest in the audience. Um, and from there, the relationship just continued to bloom. Yeah. I, I, I specifically was saying about that whole volunteerism piece, because sometimes when you're out just doing what mm -hmm. you are doing to help somebody else, you don't know who else you're going to encounter Amen. and where mm -hmm. that relationship is really going to go. So both she was there volunteering and it was a group of us volunteering on Gabe's Heart, behalf of Gabe's Heart Foundation. We were there to clean the building and to make sure all the rooms were done. And I cleaned the exterior, the playground playground equipment and things. And she was there serving some food and different things with her and her team. So it was like, we're there for two totally different purposes, two different organizations, but yet our paths crossed. So that goes back to what Camille is saying and what Athena is saying. You don't know where things are going to take you in life, but just be open-minded to them. All right. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take another quick commercial break and we're going to come back to Joe D. Bear, Dr. Joe D. Bear, which is America's top health expert. And I cannot wait to hear what she has to say. So go ahead. Um, what we're going to do, Mackenzie, is let me play this by Les Brown and pull him in for a second. Thank you again, Dr. Les Brown, lesbrown.com for being one of our episode sponsors. We'll be right back with him. We make decisions and our decisions make us. Amen. You have something special. You've got greatness in you. When I look at this picture with my brother and I, born in an abandoned building on a floor in a poor section of Miami, Florida called Liberty City, 
and I was labeled educable mental retarded. They called me DT, the dumb twin. No one could have told me by investing in myself and learning how to communicate, how to present myself, how to speak to one-on-one -on -one or small groups or large audiences, that it would dramatically change my life. I'm 77 now, and I'm looking for people who are serious about becoming successful, about becoming a category <laughs> king on how to tell their story about themselves or about their business or how to monetize their dreams and make a difference on the planet. If that's you, I want you to reach out to me. I'm gonna teach you how to tell your story, how to use quotes, how to use humor, how to make people laugh and feel good and cry in their tears. <laughs> oh, let me tell you something up in here, up in here. People say we have the best training program on the planet and train more successful people than anybody on the planet. And you can be the next one. This is your time, this is your moment to turn adversity to your advantage. But you gotta be hungry. <laughs> you have something special. You got greatness in you. That's my story that I'm sticking to. Bye for now. Woo! <laughs>
and then get that vibrancy because exercise is vital energy. This, these tips are simple, sustainable, and I can tell you they are effective. And what you're going to hear from my coach and mentor of the last seven years, I am so grateful to relinquish the rest of my time today to someone who is relatable, he is real, and he is relevant in all three things. Because what he has taught us through this book coming out, as Wallace D. Wallace says, the best thing you can do is make the most out of yourself. And I want to honor my coach for being on the platform. He has allowed me in these last seven years to be the most that I can be. And I am Dr. Jody Bear. I approve this message and the one coming forward. Back to you, Kim. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm so glad for your feedback today because it is, it's just a game changer when you come on Dr. Jody and everybody learns something new. Even when you were on vacation, you shared some tips with us and it's just so helpful. So let's put any comments up. Uh, Mackenzie, please. Let's see. Let's see here. What are some of the comments that's happening? Let's put them up. I love walking. Way to put it out there, Athena, our sunshine. Moving that energy in your body. Yes. We love you, Dr. Joe D. Lena says. Gotta walk, Jay Nolan says. Something so simple can change your life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dr. Joe D., you are simply a genius when it comes to health, Scott says. Any other comments? Thank you for the show, Lena says. Glad to have you, Lena, and glad that you're tuning in. Awesome show. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Wow, this is inspirational and it has enhanced my mindset. Great comments. Andy, I see your comment. Thank you. All right, amazing show. Thank you for the space for humanity. Yes, we're bringing balance to the world, one household at a time. That's what the goal is here on the Kim Jacobs Show, is to bring better balance to the world. Thank you so much, Facebook user, as well, for your feedback. All right. Any other comments? All right. All right. Keep letting your light shine. Yes, and we plan to do that right here on the Kim Jacobs Show. All right. Let's see. Let's get ready to tell you all, too. Make sure you all know you can subscribe to the Kim Jacobs Show right on our YouTube channel as well. And I want to make sure that you know that when you're over there, take a moment to watch some of the episodes if you've missed any in the past. Also. Support the program. It's just like any other, like PBS or C CBN, different place, places you have to officially be able to get funds poured into the program in order for it to be sustained and maintained. So feel free to support in any of these ways that are provided here. For the podcast listeners, that's through Cash App, dollar sign Kim Jacobs Inc. and paypal.me forward slash Kim Jacobs Inc. All right. So thank you all so much. We're going to take another commercial break and the commercial break is going to be, let's go with um, Hunter Everidge Law Firm, McKenzie. And we're going to come right back and hear from Jay Nolan. All right. We'll be right back, everybody. When someone has lost a loved one, they want to know what exactly happened. They want to know is the other person going to be held responsible? And they want closure. At Hunter and Everich, we help clients that have lost a loved one move on and to do that with dignity and respect that they deserve. All right, everyone, we are back. And we are back with Jay Nolan. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is introduce this individual, former professional baseball player and author of the best-selling book, The Power of a Woman, from the perspective of a real man. Jay Nolan has been a sales trainer and a keynote motivational speaker for over 25 years, helping people maximize their potential and harness the power of their subconscious mind. As an entrepreneur with his businesses, he is always focused on giving back to those in need and helping different causes around the world. In his spare time, he studies ancient spiritual writings, but also always makes time for some bass fishing. My son would love you, by the way. 
bass fishing, watching a good ball game, and especially spending time with his wife and son at their home in Boca Raton, Florida. And now with his company, MYB, MYB Publishing, for all of you that are interested in, in getting a book published, MYB Publishing, he's introducing a new special universal edition of the book, The Science of Getting Rich. Welcome, Jay Nolan, to The Kim Jacobs Show. I'm so, so happy, Miss Kim, to be here. And you know, there's a saying that I love to come in with right away, hearing from you, uh, Camille, my wonderful Jody Bear for all these years, Miss Athena, full of sunshine. You know, she's not the sunshine expert. You can feel her sunshine. Yes, so yes. Like you, Kim, I mean, I feel love. I feel energy. I feel support. I feel the importance of right now in this moment. And so I appreciate you having me here, but I want to say to you, and I want to say to everyone that's watching the show, I want to ask the question, who encourages the encourager? Oh, that's good. Who encourages the encourager? When you have someone like Kim Jacobs put together the Kim Jacobs show, what she's really put together is an encouragement platform. And see, what can we do to show her our thanks? It's simple. She gave some, she gave commercials with sponsors, but you can sponsor her right now by sharing this with other people. You can sponsor her right now by sharing some support. I'm gonna support when I'm done here, Jody. Make sure you remind me because NYB Publishing is going to provide some support to the Kim Jacobs show. So, Jody, you make sure you send me a message right after this, and then Kim, you hold me to it. Because it's critical. It's just like blood to your body that you encourage encouragers. And so, Kim, I want to applaud you for being an absolute powerhouse encourager. Oh, thank you. And then giving us this platform to be able to impact. A life that doesn't impact never fulfills its purpose. So you've got to be willing to be a, a person of impact. You're never going to be happy unless you're impacted. And you're never going to impact unless you do what this book that we just released by Wallace D. Waddles talks about is you have to make the most of yourself. Yeah, and hey, God. now we're talking. Go ahead. Go ahead. Kim got her version. You got to make the most. Thanks, of Dr. Doe, Jody. <laughs> Way to go, Dr. Jody. You got to make the most of yourself. And Wallace D. Waddle says something, and guess what? He's going to strike a chord with so many people. He says, you can no more make the most of yourself. The number one thing you can do is get rich. Hmm. Now, what does most people think when they hear that? They get, what, wait, huh? Oh, money? You talking about money first? And see, how he relates money changes the game. It's all yes. You see, how you think about money is going to be how you really think about everything. See, if you feel guilty about money, you feel guilty about your life. You're going to feel guilty about success. You're going to be feeling guilty all of your life. Money and making more of it is no different than if I plant a seed in the ground. I'm expecting that seed to come up and, and maximize itself and produce more seeds. Hmm. And so when I got over the guilt of money, then I got over me feeling guilty which then gave me the ability to be happy. And I'm going all in on happy, Kim. I'm well, all that, happy. This is really good because I was reading the book. And one thing that I really like about this when I was starting it is that it says that no matter what environment you grow up in, no matter what location, no matter what your business or your profession is, People can get rich in any business, in any profession, while even their next door neighbors may be dealing with something that is impoverishing, but they they too have the ability to get rich. Right. And I, I like that this seemed like it was like no respect or person. Uh -huh. Anybody, if we change our mindset, according to what you all are shared with, he's sharing in this book, can get rich. Yeah. And, 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 and really, listen, what we got to do is we got to share this with as many people as possible. I took months and months, and here's what happened with me. And, and this is important for everybody to get. I had become a student of thinking grow rich. 
all the way from Napoleon Hill, which was written around 1937. Yeah. So in 1995, I got introduced. I was 27 years old at the time, dating myself. Now I'm 54 years young today. But in, at 27, they somebody showed me that book, and I would I was like, oh, I never heard these concepts. Nobody taught me this in school. Right. Grades one through 12. That's 14,000 hours. And you didn't learn the, the core concepts of what it takes for you to have a successful, happy life. So Think and Grow Rich was that was a big eye opener for me. Now, I mastered it, I believe, over the years. I'm one of three people on planet Earth that has their own Think and Grow Rich sanctioned edition from the Napoleon Hill Foundation. And so that's how much I was into it. But here's what happened, Kim. Last year, so we got all this pandemic stuff going on. So everybody's scrambling, trying to figure out what they're going to do. I listened to an interview by Rhonda Byrne. Rhonda Byrne is the creator of The Secret. Everybody probably heard of The Secret. It's exploded all over the world. Yeah. I was look, listening to her on Conscious TV. And I, when I'm looking and listening to somebody, I'm doing like I did here, like when Camille was talking, when you were talking, when Dr. Jody was talking, Athena. I'm reading energy. I'm reading, I'm reading the vibe, what's going on. I was reading her energy and I'm like, she means what the heck she's saying. You right, right. I don't know. I mean, have you heard her speak before, Kim? Because she means what she's saying. Yes, and you can feel the passion associated yeah. with it. It's no and, 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 and the thing is, no I believe she's one, even though it's had so much success, the secret, I believe she is one of the most underrated powerhouse personal growth new thought leaders in the world. But she takes, she just lets, she lets what she created do its thing. But she said in 2004, her, one of her parents just died. She had a child that was, was very sick. She lost $2 million in her business. She was having an emotional breakdown. Mm. And we've all probably been there pushed emotionally at times to where we felt very low. And I was just checking yes. her out. And she said her adult daughter came and handed her old scrappy photocopy book of the science of getting rich and said, mom, read that. It'll make you feel better. She read it in 90 minutes, <clears throat> 90 minutes. She wow. said she read it after 90 minutes. She said it changed my life. And she said this book inspired me immediately to create the secret. Does everybody listen to what I just said? She said in 90 minutes, in she went from the minutes. down out to change. That's why when people talk about faith, when people talk about spirituality, and I say, what is faith? How is it defined? And you listen in the scriptures, it says, now faith is the substance of things we hope for. What kind of faith, Kim? The first Now words, faith. Now faith. Not Come yesterday on. faith. Not tomorrow no faith. <laughs> but now faith. And so when I said, man, this woman tapped into now faith and she had her breakthrough. So here's my question for everybody. When can you have faith? Right when? Right now. now. And in this book, The Science of Getting Rich, guess what Wallace D. Waddle said? What? He said the only time there is, is now. Man, I'm, a, I'm about to run out of here. He said, the only time there is, Athena, you getting this? He said, the only time there is, is now. And I'm telling y'all, with everything, I've been through all kinds of stuff the last couple of years. I've had so much success in my life, but the last two or three years have been very challenging. And I was sitting there going, I was stretched with all the success I've had. Mm -hmm. Country boy, coming from Kentucky, becoming a professional athlete. Mm -hmm. Doing business in 90 plus countries, speaking, doing seminars in 20 plus countries. Mm. I've had all this success. And then all of a sudden, I am stretched to the max. I read this book. I want y'all to hear me. This book put me into now faith, period. I went all in on now. Guess what? I stopped thinking about what happened in the past. I stopped thinking about stuff that's coming at me now. I stopped thinking about anything having to deal with stress is death. I stopped just having it. And I said, I'm going to be happy. Guess when, y'all? Right? Right now. now. <laughs> and every time I, and guess what he says? If you have any other thoughts that come to your mind, cast it as a sin. Cast it aside as a sin. 
say that's not good for me. I can remember when I was broke as a joke living in my mother's basement. I said, this is a lie. This situation can't hold me. That's why this Cam Jacobs show, this right, what we got right here, this platform right now, it can't hold Kim Jacobs. She is a global powerhouse superstar and I'm claiming it to be right now. And I ain't going anywhere else with that. You with me on that, Kim? Can we stay with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and so here's what I did, Kim. If you read the original book that was written in 1910, y'all come on and get the date lines with me. Think and Grow Rich sold about 100 million copies. Right. The most famous success book in the world outside the Bible is Think and Grow Rich. It was written in 1937. The original of this book is written in 1910. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This is where I have to ask you a quick question. Let me interview you a little bit, Jay. Come Nolan, on. Okay, I had a question for you, but you you preaching, so I don't know. I'm just trying to get in there. I'm, right just, quick. I'm feeling y'all's passion today. Okay, so the thing is, Jay, this book has already, like you said, it's been written. This is a, a new edition uh, uh, by MYB Publishing Edition, yep. a special universal edition. Yes. What makes this dish edition different than? Any of the other editions that's already been in existence? Yes, it's that's a good question. Only, it's the only edition that took out all the masculinity from that time. So at that time in 1910, women couldn't even vote. As shameful oh. as that is to say. Women couldn't vote till around 1920, 1919, 1920. So you're talking about a decade before Wallace Waddles was writing this book for the world, but he was speaking the ways of those times. So when he said, and a man does this, and when a man, and if a man can do this, and surely, but so when you hear that as a woman, you have to compartmentalize it. Have y'all ever done that before? Read a book? Oh, yeah. And you go, okay, that's talking about me as a human. That's talking about me as a human. <laughs> Kim, I don't. I didn't want that book to do that to you. Uh, so that's so. You know what? This is a good, easy read, and I'm not offended in any way, shape, or form when I'm reading this book. I feel like you're only talking to me that's as it. a woman. So I'm so grateful for this edition. Yeah, we just took out all of it because, again, you heard the book I wrote uh, last year. Les Brown actually wrote the foreword in the Power of a Woman <clears throat> from the perspective of real men. Les Brown wrote that foreword because powerhouse women have had the most powerful effect in my life. My grandma, out of my, out of May, starting with her. If it wasn't for her, you wouldn't see me sitting here right now. So I took all that out. I cleaned up some of the language to make it more up to date where you can understand it, trying to keep the context of that, of what he meant. But I wanted to make it easier to read. It has no masculinity in it. It's not going to fit anybody from a religious standpoint. It's just very, very to the point with all the principles. It's the only one of its kind in the world. So here I am reading a book. I own a publishing company. And after two chapters of me reading the first two chapters, here's what I did, Camille. I'm telling y'all. I go, at the first two chapters, I said, I got to read this to teach this. That's after good. two chapters. After four chapters, I said, I got to read this to teach this. Then I got to edit this. Then I've got to distribute this That's where good. everybody will be impacted. After four chapters, 17 chapters, I said, I want everybody to get it. So here's, I said, and I don't want any mistakes. I'm not hiring anybody to edit this. I've got editors that do work with me. I personally get every single word that you're reading in this book. I read it, edited it, and printed it. Every word, it took me months. And I got it down, and then I gave it to people to review. We made sure everything was tight. Then we took it to press. We went number one already. Amazon number one, USA, Netherlands, and Canada. And we haven't started even promoting hard yet. <laughs> So well, where, where where can people where can people get the book? Because I have your contact information here, but people mm -hmm. want to know how do they get your publishing, get access to learn more about your publishing, mm -hmm. and where they can get the book. If you go to that that site there in the middle, get S O G R. That S O G R stands for Science of Getting Rich. Get S O G R dot com. We even did a video 
a five minute video to properly introduce the world to Wallace D. Waters. So not only do I have a publishing company, I have a full scale production company. So we can do anything from a sizzle video to a Hollywood movie. So we took all of our skills with our teams and all right, let's go, guys. Let's roll this out. Let's tell the story the right way. And this was what's so funny, Kim. And maybe we could chat about this is that my team, when we were doing the research, how to do the movie, they were saying, because you keep thinking about Napoleon Hill. Now, I believe y'all come in here. I believe Napoleon Hill got some of his foundations from Wallace D. Waters. I just is my belief, my highly educated opinion. Okay. So I pulled everybody in. And if you listen and you learn and you study Napoleon Hill, he was like the Muhammad Ali of self-promotion. Yes. Of personal growth. So Muhammad Ali, a self-promoter of boxing, he was a self-promoter of personal growth. He knew how to leverage the relationships with the Andrew Carnegie's and the Henry Ford's. Right. And so he got that shine. You know what I mean, Kim? Yes. So my team came back to me and said, we don't really know nothing. There's nothing out there about nothing that this man really did. And I said, he didn't want it. He really purely wanted, he became rich doing it. And he wrote it for the poor coal miners and farmers in the area so that they could get rich. Right. And so I said, that's the beauty. And so here's the beauty. I'm going to give you all a secret. It's his obscurity. It's his mystery yes. that we began to show and build on. And guess who was one of the major forces behind him? A woman that wow. owned a publishing company that got him out there. And we're about to feature her next. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be off the chain. So you're going to have like seriously serious movies. You're going to have books on, on never ending books. When, when you think of getting rich, what does it mean to you? Can you tell us that in a nutshell? I want to hear what your philosophy is on it. What do you I'm think? A, what do you think I'm Waddles a, meant by rich? And yes. what, do you, what do you think about being rich? Waddles D. Waddles, his definition of rich is, 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 it's just in line with mine. I'm six pillars. I believe you have to be rich emotionally. I believe you got to be, that means you, you got to be rich mentally. Rich emotionally. Rich okay. mentally. You got to be rich socially. Mentally. I'm typing this. Give me a second. <laughs> rich emotionally, <laughs> mentally. I'm going to remove. You got to be rich. Are you helping me, Mackenzie, backstage? So you got to be rich emotionally, mm -hmm. mentally. You got to be rich socially. Socially, okay. Spiritually. Rich spiritually. Physically. Rich physically. This is some and, good stuff. And financially. And rich financially. Y'all, I want y'all to put... I've been teaching that for two decades. Financially. And this is... Jay Nolan's philosophy on the yeah. six pillars of being rich, y'all. Yeah. So y'all, I, I try to type it real fast here, but I know Mackenzie's helping help me back. Rich emotionally, mentally, socially, spiritually, Ooh. physically, and financially. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, right. because, I mean, you think about it. Why is Dr. Jody so important on this show? Because no matter how much money I got, if I can't have people like her giving me that wealth of advice <laughs> and coaching, I'm going to die early. That's right. That's right. You see, do you know almost the entire planet is dying too early? Yes. You're supposed to live to 120 <laughs> years of age. Wow. That is proven scripturally and scientifically. If you go look at National Geographic, May 2013 cover, there's going to be a picture of a baby on it. And it says this baby will live to be 120. Wow. If you go read Genesis chapter six, I think it's verse three, and it says, and a human's age will be 120. Mm. So when they tell us that the average mortality rate is around 75 globally, why are we listening to that 45 year cut our life short lie? Wow. Wow. So what can you do if you get people die because they don't have the knowledge? So you get with the Dr. Jody Bear. So you can get that <laughs> physical knowledge. Well, if you want emotional, you want mental knowledge, that's why 
teachings of Les Brown so important. That's why this show is so important. That's why we put together xpmentor.com. I now have a mentorship platform that I'm t- I'm actually launching it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what time? What time? On the Kim Jacobs show. <laughs> what time is it going to happen? We're going to be in Clubhouse at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be releasing it, uh, telling everybody. We've got Forbes Riley. She's already with us on the platform. We've got, like, she's one of the top sales, pitch sales artists in the world. We've got Dan Pillar, number one tax authority, in my opinion, in the entire country. Erin Hernandez, she's one of the top five, I consider, photographers in the world. We got uh, Molson from Molson Pictures that's coming on, gonna be teaching uh, all how to create. Video, music videos and get involved in the Hollywood. I got all these different mentors coming on the platform and you'll be able to get in and learn from us on a weekly basis. But guess what? That's going to increase your emotional and then your mental and it's going to absolutely skyrocket your social. Social means you got to be able to communicate great with other people. Well, Jay, Jay, I definitely need your contact information too because I teach a program on how people can start their own talk shows when you're talking about how people can do different things. I train people on how to start a talk show from scratch. And so everything from A to Z, Les Brown endorses it and has a video out there as well that endorses the program. And so Mm -hmm. if people are interested in being a motivation, your motivational speaker, author, business owner, you MLM, whatever it is that you're doing, but you have a story to tell, definitely visit KimJacobsConsulting.com as well so you can learn how to start your own show. Or you might be able to hear me on Clubhouse on one of Jay Nolan's Yeah. (laughs) But what are you doing? You're showing people how to talk. That's right. (laughs) Why do relationships break down? People can't communicate, right? Why we got 70% of the people getting divorced? People can't communicate. So be wealthy. Be wealthy when it comes to socially. Get with Kim Jacobs. Get her consultation. I'm telling you, I'm going to promote you like crazy. (laughs) Jay Nolan, listen, is there any other closing comment that you have, Jay, that I want to make sure we get a chance? Because I know that we didn't go directly from specific questions, but you're talking about so many phenomenal principles here with Wallace D. Waddles teaching in his book and different routines that you can share with us. Is there anything that you want the audience to know that maybe you didn't share yet? Chapter four of this book, he says this is the number one principle, foundation to getting rich and to being happy. You have to be able to think the way you want to think. It sounds simple, but you got to put some thought into what I just said. You have to be able to think the way you want to think. Now, here's what happens. If you ever are mad or angry or upset, you're not thinking the way you want to think. If you're not. If you argue with people, you ain't thinking the way you want to think. If you're frustrated, if you're worried, you're not thinking the way you want to think. That's unnatural. And so this book will literally teach you how to think the way you want to think. And once you are able to think the way you want to think, Wallace D. Waddle says, you then become a mastermind. So you don't have to just join masterminds. You become a mastermind. And now he says with that power, you can literally conquer fate Mm. if you have to. And so I want the world to know what I tell my son every single night. I got a seven-year-old child. Mm. It's just the time I saw his, he, he, he was, I knew that he was coming into this world back in 2014 when they said my wife's pregnant. I started speaking to him and I want to speak. There's my little boy right there, my beautiful wife. You know, I had that picture, did you? Oh, uh, you got me. You're going to make me just talk. You're going to get me. <laughs> here's what I say to him every day. And I want to say this to all of you as I leave out of here. You are powerful. You are wonderful. You are mighty. You are strong. Mm-hmm. You are awesome. You can do anything. All you got to do is master your thoughts and you conquer your life. And I'll be here to support you. I know people like this wonderful platform that Kim Jenkins has put together and these other phenomenal folks like Camille, Dr. Jody and Athena. We are all here to support and to give back. 
And I'm just so glad I got the chance to spend this time with you, Kim, and all you wonderful people. I want to share my love, my honor. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Jay Nolan, for coming and breaking us with your presence. You can come back anytime. You just say, I'm coming back, Kim, and you, I'm going to pull you right back on here. Anytime you want to come, it can be in the middle of regularly scheduled broadcasting. Be like, Kim, I got something to say today. <laughs> Thank you, Miss okay. Kim. You're so beautiful and wonderful. All right, everybody, you can stay connected with Jay Nolan at Jay Nolan now or get SOGR, which is the science of getting rich.com, get SOGR.com. And kicking off tonight on Clubhouse at nine o'clock p.m. is the XP Mentor program, XPMentor.com to learn more. And all of our experts, I share. Camille, do you have a closing comment? Oh my goodness, <laughs> that it's hard to follow up after that, but I'm just so grateful and so thankful, like you said, to be a part of such a powerful platform. Thank you, Kim, for having me. Thank mm -hmm. you for seeing me as your vision expert. And thank you, Jay Nolan, for those powerful words. Awesome. How about you, yeah. Athena? <clears throat> Thank you. It's always a pleasure to be here. Uh, truly, profoundly coming from Jay Nolan. Learned so much, so I truly appreciate you. Nice meeting you. Always, Dr. Jody. It's good to see you, love, and Kim. Thank you, and just continue to grow. Continue to grow. Dream big. Think big, and watch God. Yes, yes. Dr. Jody Bear, any closing comment? Now is spelled one backwards, and for the last seven years, Jay Nolan... All we do is win, win, win. And now we're winning with the Kim Jacobs Show. Thank you so much, Camille, Athena, for being in my life. Let's just win no matter what. And make sure you guys get these books, um, The Power of a Woman from the Perspective of Real Men. And make sure you get the getting the science of getting rich with Wallace D. Walter, Walter Waddles. Waddles, I don't want to say it wrong. Wallace D. Waddles. So make sure you get that as well. And now all of you that are on, feel free. You can go ahead and hop off or whatever it is that you have to do with the rest of your day. But I do want to let everybody know I'm going to stay on for a few more minutes because two of my children, I have three children that have cystic fibrosis. And I know some of you are at work, so feel free to pop off when you need to. But three of my children have cystic fibrosis that are still living. I have one son that transitioned to be with the Lord. And my son, two of my children have the opportunity yesterday to speak before Congress. They are looking to get an act called the Pasture Act approved and signed off by representatives of Congress. So they went for the last day and a half back to back appointments to meet with people on the Hill to share their perspective of why the bill, the Pasture Act, which helps with every person that needs antibiotic treatment to not have to necessarily go into the hospital to get this treatment. So I have a little clip that I wanted to share. And again, everybody that's freestyle, technically speaking, the show is over. You can stay, you can go. I know you're at work, Sunshine, so feel free. Don't hesitate to pop off and it's no offense. But I want to let you all see, and I had to clip the clip because uh, it was other people that were on there, including congressmen. So I could not show that. So it's a real screened in, clipped clip. But this is my daughter who lives with cystic fibrosis. And I want you to just hear her speak about it. It was crazy. Like how many, I literally thought I'd go to the hospital in the second home. Every time they say, oh, we're going to the hospital. I'd be like, okay, yeah, let's go. I'll meet all my nurse friends. I'll do all this stuff. But I think it's kind of sad that I had to experience like going to the hospital and literally thinking of it as a second home or a place where I just have to go to get tested out and get needles stuck in me and hope for the best. But after I was finally diagnosed with cystic fibrosis, it, it did change a bit. I got the medications I needed, but it still wasn't really enough. No matter what I did, I was still throwing up basically every day and doing all this stuff. My mom and dad would try giving me all these antibiotics and they wouldn't do anything. And we were, we were using the antibiotics for the right thing. We just didn't know at the time. So after I was diagnosed, basically how I was diagnosed actually is I had, I had given my mom because I was infected with pseudomonas and a bunch of other infections that I don't even know the name of, but they were, there was a crazy amount of infections in my lungs. Do you think it'd be a good and problem? the doctors yes. were trying to figure out what, what was going on. Mm -hmm. How does this child have so many infections? And how can I really learn how to work with this? So after they figured out I had cystic fibrosis, they gave me my breathing treatment. 
play the whole video because it's on YouTube and you can go and listen to it. But that's my my daughter sharing her story and my son. I'll let you hear him. So uh, whenever I tell people that, they're usually like, really surprised that you get that at 14. I'm like, yeah, so, um, yeah, so whenever, I, so most of my life, I didn't, I'm 17 right now, so most of my life, I didn't really know what I was experiencing with CF symptoms, because I saw Jayla always doing treatments and stuff and coming in and out of the hospital. I wouldn't see her for like weeks on end for some time. And uh, I used to always get um, bronchitis and stuff, but I didn't know that letting y'all just see a little teeny clip of it it's probably hard to hear but then this is um my other son that's 21 that also lives with cystic fibrosis as well I always ask people what if the opposition and adversity that you've been dealt isn't even about you what if the challenges you're facing are not even about you what if it's to bring somebody else closer to god what if it's to improve somebody else's relationship with god what if it's to fortify somebody else's faith through the way that you handle the opposition and adversity and respond to it. Like I firmly believe when we deal with things and we encounter things, I believe the purpose in the- I want y'all to see that even though my children, these three live with cystic fibrosis, they're making history, doing some phenomenal things to change the world. These two, these two spoke before Congress yesterday and that pushed them way out of their comfort zone, but they're trying to get a bill passed, Pasture Act, that will help not only them, but any others that need this level of antibiotic care. And then my son that was playing football, 300 and some pounds, he personally went on a mission with cystic fibrosis to lose over a hundred pounds. And this is him now, Live. this was him before. So this is his before picture. And he personally did diet and exercise, no surgery and transform to this. He wants to play at U U the UNC Charlotte team, University of North Carolina, Charlotte with uh, Coach Heels or anyway, over at the UNC Charlotte, he wants to play with them. So if you, if you all help him with his goal and his dream to become an NFL, he wants to be the first cystic fibrosis nice. patient to play in the NFL. And he's doing everything he can daily to get his goal accomplished. And one of his dreams is to play on the team with the UNC Charlotte team. So anyway, I just wanted to just share some of the things that I go through too as a mom, as I'm balancing my own life as the balance doctor, I help my children balance their lives. And my son, that's my oldest one. He's an e-commerce expert. I didn't show him on here just now, but this is my oldest son, Frank Jr. And he is 25 years old. He does not have CF but he is a brilliant mastermind. So this book is going to be one that he's going to put on a little, one of those kickstands that you can put in your kickstand, the science of getting rich. He's going to have this book. I can promise you right as one of his main readers, he's going to love that. So anyway, thank you all so much for those that were able to stay on with me just to hear about my children for a few yes. minutes as well. Because I really, I, I, I love my children and all that they're going through as well in their journey through life. So you all have been amazing. <laughs> amazing. Ms. Have Kim, a great my, weekend. My, my, my nephew is a starting nose guard at the Eastern Kentucky University. I will set up a conference with him and your son to encourage him that he can do anything and we'll be there to support. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Everybody, I see all of your comments. We'll pop them up throughout the rest as we close out. Mackenzie, take it away and close us out. Have a great weekend. See you Have Monday. a great weekend. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. See you Monday. Hello, everyone. I'm Kim Jacobs, host of The Kim Jacobs Show, where we're bringing balance to the world one household at a time. Listen, we go live every weekday, Monday through Friday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
I bring guests on that talk about their backstories, things that they've had to overcome to become who they are today. Many of them are balancing and juggling life and they've become experts in different fields. So they're sharing tips with you to make your life just a little bit easier. Many times as a guest in the studio audience, you'll get a chance to walk away with a missing piece of the puzzle that might be missing in your life. Let's go on this journey together and I look forward to seeing you Monday through Friday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on The Kim Jacobs Show.